Hi, I'm Honda Pro Jason. Don't adjust your computer monitor, I'm really wearing pink. Welcome to the Honda Pro Show. Watched by over 1.3 million people and kept alive because you subscribe. This week, I'm so excited about the Honda news, I might just burst into song. It's that time of year where I get to wish you and yours a very happy Honda Days. Happy Honda Days is an event that Honda does, and every year we get to pick a spokesperson. And this year, Honda picked Michael Bolton. Yeah. So we picked Michael Bolton. Who cares if Dodge has Will Ferrell? We have the pop star from the 90s, award-winning Michael Bolton. Well, they did a whole bunch of really funny ads with Michael Bolton. I just like saying his name, Michael Bolton. Kind of rolls off your tongue a little bit. We did a whole bunch of YouTube ads, and you've probably seen some of them on TV, too. There's one for the Civic and the Accord and the Pilot and all of them. Well, Happy Honda Days is going to run until the 1st of January. So get in your local Honda dealership and buy a new car and save some money. I'm going to end this segment with a song. When a man loves a Honda... Where does the line start to drive the new Civic Type R? Well, in Japan, of course. And that's where some lucky journalists got to drive this vehicle, around the test track of Honda's Proving Grounds. They went around the track twice. Once on their own, in regular drive mode. And once with a professional driver, in R race mode. Yep, Honda put a race mode button in the car. And this doesn't just increase how much power the car has. It actually changed the whole suspension of the vehicle. Some of the drivers actually said that they could feel all the little pebbles in the road as soon as they were driving around. So let's recap this car. 2.0 liter turbo with VTEC, 19 inch wheels, huge dual exhaust coming out the back, and our race button. Now there's more. And remember, this car is not going to be released for another 18 months. So Honda can definitely change plenty with this vehicle. But their goal is to be the fastest front-wheel drive car around the Nuremberg Ring. And from everyone's reviews so far, I think Honda's done it. Honda's also put the R back in the Civic Type R. Turbo, turbo, turbo. I never thought, starting a Honda Weekly News Show, I'd ever be able to talk about turbos. But I am. Honda just released a whole bunch of turbo information. Starting with a 1.0 liter displacement, this turbo will probably stay in Japan. A 1.5 liter, which will eventually make it to America, I'm thinking in the fit. A 2.0 liter turbo, which is obviously going to be used in the Civic Type R, will that make it to America? I hope so. And an undisclosed displacement for the V6 Twin Turbo NSX. That one is the one that everyone's going to have their eye on. So VTEC Turbo just kicked in, yo. A Honda Pro Jason side note, and this week, two for one. In China, Honda has announced the name for the new urban SUV. They're calling it the CRU. And Green Car Reports just named the 2014 best car to buy to the Accord Hybrid. It's fun fact time. Mugen Motorsports was formed in 1973 by the son of Honda's founder, Soichiro Honda. And that's your fun fact of the week. That sure was a great show. And just like every week, I put links to all my stories in the description below. And now for the giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away two of these Mugen hats. These aren't just cool and comfortable, they're also reversible. Now in order for you guys to win one of these two hats, this is what you have to do. In the comments below, I want you to change the name of one of the Michael Bolton songs that have something to do with Honda. So be creative, have some fun with it. I'm the Honda Pro and now you're in the know. We'll